lies in store for you. There's so many things to see and do. Summer, winter, spring, or fall. Your home in the Rockies has it all. So get up, get ready to start your day. The coffee's brewing, you're on your way. The fun is waiting outside your door. Good morning, Vail. Good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for tuning in to TV8's Good Morning Veil vale for this Tuesday, May 16th edition. This is a live shot of the river first thing this morning, and it is definitely flowing faster than what we've been seeing in the last couple of weeks. And we've got our wonderful outside host, Mark Sassy, to give you some more information about those river flows and how you can stay nice and safe near that river. I'm your in-studio host today, Maddie Evans, and we've got a great show in store for you for the next two hours of Good Morning Vale. There's a lot of fun things taking place on our show. Now, we've got some great national holidays to celebrate today, one of which being Drawing Day, Barbecue Day, and National Love a Tree Day. Now, I'm excited for Barbecue Day only because I'm excited to see if those temperatures are going to be warm enough for you to want to get out there and use your grill and barbecue something delicious for your friends and your family. Now, like I said, we've got a great show in store for the next two hours of Good Morning Vale. We're going to be doing some cooking in the kitchen with Tracy Miller. We're going to introduce you to Harper Grace as she has a very inspirational story. We're going to talk about scoreboard and some mental health since May is Mental Health Awareness Month. Then we're going to introduce you to the Eagle County Animal Shelter and do some more cooking. And we're going to follow along with Mark's adventure first thing this morning. And he's got so many great tips and tricks if you want to get out there and do some fly fishing or if you just want to keep everyone safe near those flowing waters. Now, if you're looking to get out there and participate in some activities around our community, well, then we definitely have some that you can enjoy today. The first one is over at the Eagle Valley Library District. Oh, they've got their wonderful story times. Now, you can go to evld.org. Then you can hit events and go to story times. They have a, a baby, lap sit, a toddler, a preschool, a family, a bilingual story time. And they have three wonderful locations. So no matter where you are in our community, you can find a story time that bets best fits your needs. Whether you're in Avon, Eagle, or Gypsum, you can attend any one of their fabulous libraries and you can just participate in all of their fun events. Now, the Vale Rec District has an absolutely insane event taking place. We're talking a lot of things about those water levels. Well, those waters are at some pretty chilly temperatures and if you're looking for some entertainment, well then you should check out the Vale Rec District Whitewater Race Series. This is taking place every Tuesday until the beginning of June. It kicks off at 5 p.m. and you can see there's a lot of competition. It's a great spectator event whether you want to be on the covered bridge or the international bridge. Now you can sign up to participate on either a stand-up paddleboard, a kayak, or a two-person raft. And you can see those stand-up paddleboarders out there absolutely freezing in that water. So make sure that if you have not yet been out there to participate, you go check it out only because it is a ton of fun to watch this wild event on this water. So make sure you go to the Vale Rec District website for some more information. Now, again, at the Eagle Valley Library District, there's another great event and activity taking place tonight, and that's Dungeons and Dragons for Teens. This is happening at the Avon Public Library. This kicks off at 5.30 p.m. Now, this is a fun game with a 20-sided dice where you can go and you can learn so much more about the game, whether you've been playing for a long time and you want to help others learn the game or whether you would like to get into the game. This is a great way to do so. Now, May is Mental Health Awareness Month month and we are going to talk more about mental health in just a little bit here on the show but if you're looking for something to do tonight well then laughing in the face of mental health is something that you can participate in it's taking place at the eagle vale pavilion now this is a free event to go attend from 6 to 8 p.m and you're going to meet the funny shrink who's going to kind of break some of those stigmas that we have around mental health down with some laughter, which I think there's no better medicine out there for all of us than getting some nice belly laughs in. So if that's something you're interested in, you can always go to the Speak Up Reach Out website for more information, or you can check it out on Eventbrite. Those are just some of the wonderful things that you can get out there and participate in in our wonderful community. But now we're going to take it over to Mark, who's going to give us a look at that local weather forecast to see if those temperatures are warm enough to get out there and barbecue. Now, Mark, I don't know about you, but the sun is up this morning and fully shining 
shining already when I was driving in. I was so excited to see it like that. So how's it feeling out there first thing this morning? Ah, you know, it's feeling pretty good out here, Maddie. Uh, we have a little bit of sunshine. We have some high clouds. We'll see a mixture of sunshine and clouds throughout the daytime. Standing down here on the Eagle River, we'll get into the river details in just a little bit, but uh, big changes since the last time I came to this specific spot a couple of weeks ago. And uh, yeah, we do have the Vale Rec District's Whitewater Race Series up in Vale tonight, and those rivers, Gore Creek is moving and it's cold, so it should be pretty entertaining. Here's your weather report for today, for Tuesday. A little jump ahead, look at Wednesday all the way through the weekend. Uh, we'll see temperatures starting first thing this morning in Vail. 8 o'clock, about 47 degrees. We'll see a high temperature for Vail, about 65 degrees. Uh, mostly sunny skies throughout the daytime. More chances for stuff. Uh, some weather popping up in the afternoon hours. We have about a 30% chance of some afternoon moisture. Your hourly forecast, sunshine with a high of 47 at 8 o'clock. And then we'll see mostly sunny skies with uh, temperatures about 60 degrees around noon. 60 degrees around 4 p.m., dropping to about 56 degrees tonight at 8 o'clock. Isolated thunderstorms likely into the afternoon hours with that high temperature of 65 coming to you in Vail, probably between 2 to 3 o'clock in the afternoon. About a 20% chance of some moisture with some sunshine in Denver with a high of 76 today. For Vail, a 30% chance with a high of 65. 68 for high at Avon, and then 71 degrees for that high temperature in Eagle with a 20% chance of moisture. Tonight, our sun's setting at about 814. We'll see a low of about 42 degrees with a 20% chance. We'll see a partly cloudy skies tonight. And then jumping ahead for Wednesday, partly cloudy skies once again. 20% chance of some moisture with a high of 67. For Thursday, a high of 66 in Vail with a 30% chance of those isolated storms possible. For Friday, 62 degrees for the high temperature with a 60% chance of some afternoon thunderstorms. And then a 30% chance of maybe some moisture on Saturday with a high of 64. And then a 50% chance of some afternoon thunderstorms with a high of 67 for Sunday. So yeah, once again, uh, the springtime is just kind of hanging on. We're not seeing that big push into those really warm temperatures. And uh, it's pretty shocking with the temperatures we're having to see the river flows like this. But uh, we'll get into those details in just a little bit. We're going to take a quick break, commercial break. When we come back, we'll take you into the kitchen with Tracy. We'll be right back. Here at Sun & Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full-service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun & Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today, or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash co. Hi, it's Maddie from TV8 Vale. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on Channel 92? Because we're always bringing you more Good Morning Vale every day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More scoreboard updates every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. More Good Day Vale, two back-to-back -back episodes daily at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. More new segments and shows highlighting our local community. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or on our website at tv8vale.com.
Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, something that we all know and love is Tracy Miller from Colorful Cooking. Now, you can tune into Colorful Cooking every Monday through Friday at noon, where you can enjoy some delicious, easy recipes that maybe you can learn how to cook. Well, she's going to teach us how to make this incredible salmon sandwich. And as someone who was here when she was making it and got to experience it, the flavors are so delicious. So let's take a look at some of the steps you need to prepare the salmon sandwich. We've got a great menu today. Actually, this is going to be kind of a summertime menu. We are going to make a salmon sandwich with avocado and a potato salad. So the first thing I'm going to do right now is start cooking the salmon because we're going to cook it. You can serve the salmon sandwich warm if you want to, or you can package it up and serve it at room temperature or cool as well. So if what we're going to do now is just start with cooking the salmon. I have a raw piece of salmon right here, and uh, it's kind of a thick one too, so it's going to take a little while to cook. I'm going to put it in a frying pan. I've got the heat over a medium heat. I'm going to crank that up a little bit because if you remember some of the past classes, when we're putting something cold into our warm frying pan, it takes the temperature down. So you want to crank it up when you're first putting things in there. I'm going to use a little olive oil. You use whatever oil you like the best. We'll put the, that on the bottom. And then we are gonna generously coat our salmon with salt and pepper. So that means you're, you're really gonna get every part of the salmon. This salmon has skin, most of it does. So I'll show you how to remove that skin in an easy way as we cook it. We are gonna put it meat side down in the pan. I'm gonna just make sure that pan is kinda hot because of course we want that pan to be warm and get that sizzle whenever we put the meat in there. So here we go. Ooh, a little bit of a sizzle. I can crank it up just a tiny bit. So we're gonna do skin side up. We will flip the salmon, and then once it cooks, the skin will easily peel right off. A lot of people like, like the skin, but it's a little more high in fat. You can crisp it up if you wanna add it to the sandwich. I'm not gonna teach you how to do that because this is a healthy cooking class, and the skin of things animals aren't always that healthy. So we have generously doused it with salt and pepper. We've got it in our pan, skin side up. It's about, maybe about an inch thick, so it is gonna take a little bit of time to cook. I can hear it sizzling right now. I'm gonna wanna get a nice sear on the outside, and then I'm gonna flip it over and we will continue to cook it until it's done. Meanwhile, let's make some potato salad. So you got the little baby potatoes in your package today. I have already boiled those. So when you're boiling potatoes, you put them in water, not ice cold water, but you don't drop them into boiling water. Whenever you're boiling potatoes, you start the potatoes in kind, not cold, but not warm water. So just kind of room temperature water, you put the potatoes in there and then it all comes to a boil on its own. So it really kind of, it's a gradual process. It takes about 15 minutes to boil those potatoes. I have boiled them, I've strained the water out of them, and I put them in a bowl in the refrigerator so they can cool down for our potato salad. So let me just grab those. They should be nice and cool, which will be nice for us when we're cutting them because potatoes, hot potatoes, are so hard to cut. The avocado and the tomato are for our salmon sandwich, so I'm just gonna move those right down there. We have these nice potatoes. It doesn't matter if you have red or white or yellow potatoes. The potato salad kinda, it, it'll work with anything. You know, if you want to make mashed potatoes or something like that, you want more of a russet potato. But with a potato salad, you can really use these or those little um, uh, golden Yukon potatoes. Those are really nice. I like to cut my potatoes in little, coin sizes for my potato salad. So we're just gonna kinda easily cut them. Try to make sure that you're not cutting away the skin. The skin is where you get a lot of nutrients in most of your veggies. So we don't wanna peel them. We just wanna make sure they cut nicely with, their, with the potato piece so that you get a nice bite when you're, when you're enjoying your potato salad. Those already look beautiful. A nice sharp knife, cut them pretty evenly. Here we go, keep on cutting them. This is, a, this is a job you could give to one of your kids. But again, this is a, uh, 
This could be a dangerous job, folks, because the potato is rolly, and we've talked about that many times. This one you can hold, and when you're cutting, you like to hold your fingers kind of tucked in like that so that you can hold on to whatever you're cutting, but you're not going to cut like your tip of your fingernail off or something. So a good trick whenever you're cutting anything is just to curve your fingers in just a little bit like that. If you see any pieces that you don't like, just discard them. You don't want them in your salad. Quality control is really important. All righty. These are looking good. I can hear the salmon starting to sear up a little bit. You can always cook the salmon in the oven as well. Whenever you're cooking fish in the oven, you want to cook it at a high temperature, like 400 degrees, and then cook it for about 15 minutes or so, check it, and then pull it out because it's going to continue cooking after you pull it out. Everything continue cooking, continues to cook after you take it off the heat. A piece of salmon that doesn't have a bone in it or anything, it's only going to continue to cook for a couple of minutes. But you know, if you pull off like a pork chop from the grill that has a bone in it, that's going to continue to cook for five, seven minutes or so. And if you had a big like filet mignon, uh, tenderloin or something like that, that does cook for another, you know, seven, eight, nine, ten minutes. So remember that if you want to get your temperature perfectly, perfectly right. Okay, this looks like it's time to flip over the salmon. How do we know? Because we can wiggle it around and it's not sticking to anything. So when it doesn't stick, that means it's time to flip over. Ooh, and that looks good. We have a nice sear on the salmon, but I do want you to see this side right there. You see how raw that is right there? That means that's a big fat piece and it's gonna take a little bit longer to cook. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna turn the temperature down to low and we're just gonna kinda chill with that cooking because we don't wanna overcook the salmon but we certainly don't want it too undercooked either. So we seared up one side, now it's skin side down and it's on a lower temperature. So we're gonna just let that cook slowly. And we'll go back to our potato salad. Now we have all of our potatoes cut nicely. And what we're gonna do is make a dressing for the potato salad. I'm doing a creamy dressing for the salad. So again, we're gonna use a mayonnaise and a sour cream split. And remember why we did that? It's just really nice to add those two flavors together and it doesn't, it kind of helps so that the mayonnaise isn't too mayonnaise-y, if <laughs> that's a technical term in the kitchen. So we're gonna do equal parts of, of uh, mayonnaise and sour cream. And we don't want too much. We don't want this to be an overly creamy dish, but we do wanna give it a little bit of body. So we're gonna put that right in there. I'm gonna talk, and of course like sour cream and potatoes, I mean, really, that's such a great combination. So we're just gonna toss our potatoes in there now with a little bit of dressing. So if you like it more creamy and you want a little more dressing, by, by all means, you know, you're the chef here. We are gonna generously put some salt and pepper, and this has some celery seed in it, so some salt and pepper and celery seed onto our potatoes and then we're just gonna stir them around. So again, it's a creamy sauce, but we're not gonna overdo it too much. You could really stop here if you've got like plain Jane eaters around, or you could add some more goodies. And that's what we're gonna do right now. I feel like we need a little, we need something fun in this, in this uh, salad. So I've decided to bring in some pepperoncinis and some mustard. Mustard is always really nice in, in, the, in these, um, these kind of salads with, a, with the mayonnaise mixture. It just kind of gives it a little bit of a bite. So we'll add a little bit of mustard. I can smell the mustard. I can smell the heat from it. So we're looking at having just a little bit of spice here in our salad. So we're gonna take a couple pepperoncinis. I'm gonna do three of them, three big ones, because they're all different sizes. And we're just gonna slice those Again, in little rings, I wanna get a little bit of a bite to them. So I'm gonna keep them intact in those rings. And that's kinda of like what we did when we cut up the potatoes. So once again, going back to when you're making something or when you're cooking something, you kinda of want things the same size. Just like in the salads, when we cut up the cucumbers and the carrots and things like that, we want them all just about the same size. Let's make sure we separate these. And this has a nice vinegary taste as well, so that's gonna add a good flavor 
If you don't like a pepperoncini, just adding a little bit of white wine vinegar or apple cider vinegar to this will kind of give you that acidic taste that you need. All right, so we've got it all stirred up. Really easy, simple. When your ingredients are this fresh, you know, when it's summertime and everything tastes so good, you really don't need to mix a lot of things in it. When I was first creating recipes, I would notice every time I was really messing up on a recipe, I'd be like, oh, add another thing to it, add another thing to it. And all of a sudden there were like 18 things in my dish and you couldn't really identify any nice flavors. And that's just because I was just trying to like, you know, put a Band-Aid on something that, that didn't really need it. So if you have fresh, good ingredients, just go and highlight those ingredients. These potatoes are fresh. It's the season for them. The pepperoncinis are gonna give it a little bit of a bite and a lot of acidic flavor, and that's gonna be really, really nice. So we're gonna pop this back into the refrigerator so it gets nice and cold. We're gonna take a quick break and let our salmon finish cooking. It's starting to get nice and cooked up. I think it needs about five more minutes because you see, we don't wanna overcook it. I don't want it all the way browned, but I do want that pink to be just a little bit less, kind of just a stripe down the middle. So we'll give that salmon five more minutes. We'll take a quick break. We'll cool off the potato salad. We'll learn about why this is so healthy. Oh my gosh, my mouth is watering just thinking about how delicious all of this food turns out. And every time Tracy Miller cooks anything in the kitchen, it is incredible. Now, stay tuned because later in the show, we're going to show you how to bring everything together. We're going to learn a little bit more about the nutritious value of all of these delicious components that she's brought into this meal. But we're also going to see that finished product so that you know exactly how you want to prepare your salmon sandwich. We're going to take a short break and when we come back, we've got more of the show. So stay tuned. Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you into Rugs Benedict to come explore our 12,000 square foot showroom. We've been serving the Vale Valley for over 50 years now with flooring needs. And we inventory a ton of product from Carpet One to provide the very best values, highest style. We just built a warehouse, 15,000 square foot warehouse in gypsum. So we have over 120 different broadloom carpets. We have a lot of waterproof wood flooring, things that we can install right away. We have employee installers, a lifetime installation warranty. Many of them have been with us for decades and they're true craftsmen in their work. They're absolutely extraordinary at installing any of the flooring that we provide. We also have over a thousand area rugs in stock right now. Um, and they start at two by threes. I could bring these into the studio today, but they go all the way up to 12 by 16s. And we have them hanging on the racks, just like shopping for clothing. So it's very easy for you to just flip through, see what's available. We'll deliver them to your house so you can check out how they look in your space with your lighting, all different sizes, all different shapes, some things that are gonna be a little bit more contemporary as well as tribal, traditional, all the latest and greatest looks. We have things that are hand knotted, silk, wool and silk options, all the way down to some machine made indoor outdoor type rugs. So really anything that you're looking for, for your business, for your home, for a rental, Rugs Benedict can provide it. And one thing I consistently hear when people leave our showroom is, that was so easy, thank you so much. So we make the, the process very easy. Come in, take a look, and we'd love to offer you a free estimate Look forward to seeing you in our showroom. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Time to rise and shine? There's no better way to start your day off than with the Good Morning Vale crew. 
You asked for more and TV8 delivered. Good Morning Vale is here for you with your local news, sports, weather, and community events every morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. No matter the season, we give you a reason to watch. So grab your coffee and join the fun. Live stream us at TV8Vale.com or on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. And remember, there's more for you on 92. Good Morning Vale! Oh, that salmon sandwich sounds really good, everybody. Uh, stay tuned for more of that coming up in the show. Uh, let's talk about our river action right now. Um, I took a photo here a couple of weeks ago to show what it looked like along the shoreline, if you're looking upstream right here across from Walmart on the Eagle River. And you can see that big log hanging over the river. There's no water um, underneath that log. There's plenty of shoreline available. But if you look at the photograph I took <clears throat> just recently this morning, uh, dramatic difference. You can see now uh, we probably, that water, that river has moved on to the shoreline probably a good eight to 10 feet now. Um, so the shoreline is not where it used to be. And that's one of the tricky things about walking along the banks because where the bank normally is, is not there anymore. And that water is super cold. Uh, those flows have come up dramatically in the past week. Let's uh, look at a graph of Gore Creek to start. Uh, flows on Gore Creek a week ago today on the 9th, which was the first one of the Whitewater Race Series. They were flowing, the Gore Creek in Vail was flowing around uh, short of 300 cubic feet per second. And now that graph is um, obviously over 400 cubic feet per second. Big jump we've seen over the past six to seven days. Now, as we look at the Eagle River, the Eagle River right here in Avon, um, it's uh, pretty darn close to 1,300 cubic feet per second. And if you look at it, what it was like a week ago, uh, that flow was, I mean, it was just around 800, 9, 10, 11, so another 500 cubic feet per second. That river has dramatically increased, and that's why we have no shoreline left here. The Colorado River near Kremlin, um, and where we access that part of the river is below Gore Canyon, uh, but the flows are pretty similar from the Kremlin gauge to the Gore Canyon pump house area. Uh, it's been kind of stable right around the mid 2000s. Um, and because they're kind of slowly releasing some water out of the reservoirs upstream of the Colorado in that area. Uh, but flows are up right now. I was kind of hoping to be able to get out on the river and maybe do some fishing, but it's still not there yet. So stay tuned because soon enough when those river levels drop, I'll put my waders on and we'll go do some fishing on TV, but it's just not safe yet and I'm carrying a lot of expensive camera equipment, so I didn't want something to happen. Uh, but if you're gonna be near the water, keep in mind, water temperatures are very cold, probably 35, 36, 37 degrees. Um, hypothermic water for sure. Keep your dogs away from the river, don't let them play in the water, and uh, keep your kids away from the river too. Go walk around Nottingham Lake, or go find a small lake somewhere that's kind of safe to be able to maneuver around. All right, let's shift gears a little bit. Maddie had, had a chance to catch in, catch up with a, a country singer, up and coming rising country star. Her name is Harper Grace. Let's find out more about her story and her inspiration right now. Country music star who is absolutely rising right now at a rapid rate is Harper Grace. And she is about to release a new single where she's gonna give us kind of a heartfelt story about how she started off in the music. Harper, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with me. Oh my goodness, thank you for having me. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so excited only because I had the chance to go through and listen to some of your older music and as I was kind of cleaning up around everything that I was doing this morning I was listening to Sparkle top notch like as loud as I possibly could and just dancing and pretending that I knew the words your music is fantastic but you have kind of a crazy story in the music industry. Yeah yeah it's been really crazy first off thanks i appreciate the streams and for the fact that you are a fan of it that's awesome i love that um yeah it's been crazy i was known as the worst national anthem singer at the age of 11 and so my new single oh say can you see is an autobiography of what i walked through as a kid and and the trials that i i had to overcome and so it tells the 
the song in general is 100% true to, to what I went through lyrically. Um, it tells different parts of my story and, and, you know, eating at lunch by myself and kind of walking through this dark period of my life, but it doesn't even really go into the deep, darkest parts of it. Um, you know, at 11 years old, being told that I should never sing again, that I should kill myself, that I was the reason why abortion should be legal. I mean, it got so bad to the point where my family had knives with fake blood sent into our mailboxes at home. And so it was a crazy, crazy experience. Um, um, and it was definitely hard, but I've been so grateful for the fact of having a faith-based family who, you know, really trusted the fact and knowing that there was a, a something good to come out of it and knowing that the Lord had a plan for it all. And so I just, you know, really used that as fuel to my fire. I wanted to prove everybody wrong. I wanted to use that as drive and dedication to, to kind of prove all the critics wrong and, and turn it around. And so that's exactly what I did. I, I stayed very headstrong. I, I knew exactly what I wanted and, and I was going to do whatever I could to reach the dreams that I had in my heart and in my spirit that I, I had just loved so much. And so it's been a really fun experience. I've been writing so much music, written over 480 songs in the last three years of my life. And so, you know, those songs have told a lot of bits and pieces of, of the chapters that I've walked through. So very excited for Oh Say Can You See to Drop May 19th and for that story to finally be out. I mean, what you're doing and the strength that you're showing kids of that younger age is so important. And you being this vulnerable gives people that hope that they need to push them through, themselves through those trials and tribulations that they see in their life. And so as you are changing people's life through your music, what are you saying to that 11 year old girl that's still within yourself that still carries that trauma from people being so mean? Yeah. Th yeah. That is amazingly worded how you just put it. Honestly, I, it's, <laughs> I genuinely have just been trying to constantly remind my 11 year old self that you can do it. And I think what's been so beautiful is that we've been on what we're calling a redemption tour right now, where I've been given the opportunity to go and sing the national anthem all over again in different um, professional sporting events. And it has been hard as heck. I'll tell you, I've had major PTSD through it. Um, and so also getting the opportunity in every city that we're going to, to talk to foundations and high schools and middle schools or whatever it is in that city specifically um, about my story and having that public speaking out, out, you know, outlook on it as well as being able to connect with, um, with the younger generation right now. I think that mental health is such a crazy thing that that's going on right now. And the, the different outlets of social media that is sparking for give, giving people different cyber bullying outlets has been insane. And it's so hard because it's just spreading like, like wildfire. And I think it's so important to capture the younger generation and to have them feel like they have somebody to talk to. It's really important to me to have one, a one-on-one -on -one connection with, you know, my listeners and with the people that follow my page or whatever that is. So I try my best to take the time to respond to messages, to respond to DMs and to really pinpoint on people that are also struggling. And so um, it's an honor to be a voice for that generation. It's an honor to be a voice for people in general and to, to just constantly know and, and hear from people that it's an encouragement to them hearing my music and my story and, and just knowing that, um, that, I'm able to be a light is, is so awesome for me, but also telling the story that it's hard as heck to sing the anthem again. And I'm constantly facing my fears and I'm, you know, also human walking through life and learning lessons and that, you know, just, just making it known that just because I sing on a platform and maybe have a handful of Instagram followers, it doesn't mean that, you know, I, I'm not personable. Like I want people to know that I'm just a 21 year old girl who's, you know, just doing the things to reach my, my dreams and hoping that it encourages everybody else along the way to do the same. I mean, 10 years from that kind of mold of your career right there because once you have those hard roadblocks it's hard to overcome them and seeing you do so is such an inspiration to young people all across the country and of course your music is so wonderful now you've been on some large stages where you were nationally streamed across the country like american idol and so as we're talking about this ptsd and kind of bringing light to how it affects everyone in their everyday life how was being on that stage yeah, Idol was a great experience for me. I like to say that it's definitely crafted me into the artist that I am today. All of the things that I've walked through in my life has been little chapters and little glimpses of how I've 
turned into the artist and the woman that I am today. So um, being on Idol, I did all original music throughout the whole contest, was asked to come back on the season finale and sing my original song called Yard Sale that I auditioned with. And so um, being able to do that, you know, sometimes they'd show me videos of the judges telling, you know, different contestants to not sing originals because it wasn't encouraged on that show at the time. And, um, and just really stepping out and being like, you know what? No, like I've, gone to Nashville. I've done this for so long. I've pursued this dream and I'm going to stay true to who I am as an artist. And so doing that really inspired me to continue to, to press into who I was. And, um, and yeah, it's, it was, it was for sure a fun experience meeting the people, meeting the judges and just learning again, who, who I was as an artist and to continue to press into that. Now, Hyper, obviously you've been sharing so much vulnerability with us just throughout this interview and on your social media page. And as you are making headway in your career now, if you had to give one piece of advice to a young girl who's listening right now, who wants to get up on that stage and sing that national anthem for the first time, what piece of advice would you give her? Well, if you're singing the national anthem for the first time, please know your note. (laughs) It's so important to know the exact note that you're starting on. I would give advice to have it on your phone as a voice memo so that you can confidently start because that one note will really get you because it's a very beautiful song and um, goes into really crazy heights of notes. And so I would say, know your note. And then second, that you got this and that you can dream as big as you want and that you can do anything you set your mind to and that you will achieve all of the dreams that you have in your spirit. That just gave me goosebumps as you were saying it, only because to hear your story is so wonderful. Now, if people are interested in listening to your music and finding you on social media, how can they do so? Everything is available on all streaming platforms. Sparkle is available right now on all streaming platforms. And then Osei Can You See drops May 19th. And that will also be on all streaming platforms. You can possibly hear me in your local Walmart as Sparkle will be playing on the radio on Cumulus. And um, you can also ask Alexa to play Harper Grace in your kitchen. (laughs) I love it. Hyper, thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, giving us all this great information. And thank you for sharing your vulnerable side with everyone, only because it's people like you that make a difference for those kids that are struggling with some bullying. Thank you so much. I appreciate you so much. Make sure that you check out Hyper Grace anywhere you like to download and listen to your music, only because her music is so inspirational. And now that you know the story behind it, you'll have that personal connection to it. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned. Good morning, Bill. Welcome to the TV8 Viewers Choice Awards, where we celebrate the videos that got the most views on our YouTube page from you, our viewers. I'm Maddie Evans, and let's see who's taking home the prizes for the month of April. Taking home the bronze is Good Morning Vale's April 13th edition, featuring the Vale Christian High School Theater Department. The silver award goes to Good Morning Vale on April 10th, featuring recruiter guy Bill Humbert. The gold goes to Good Morning Vale on April 22nd. The scoreboard covers track and field at Eagle Valley High School. The Platinum Award goes to Good Morning Vale on April 6th, featuring lacrosse with VMS and Eagle Valley High School. And clinching the number one spot and taking home the Diamond Award, Good Morning Vale on April 15th, the Pike family from Florida giving us their rendition of Good Morning Vale. If you missed any of these trending videos, make sure that you check out our YouTube page, TV8's Good Morning Vale, and check out the playlist for the Viewer's Choice Awards for the month of April. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been your host, Maddie Evans, and I'll see you next time. Join Good Day Vale May 15th through May 19th for a special week of redefining your living space. We'll be featuring tips and tricks from experts in real estate, home furnishing, flooring, and more. Just one more reason why there's more for you on Channel 92. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. 
Veil Skin and Lashes, located in the heart of Avon, offers a full array of aesthetic and medical treatments and services. We feature only the highest quality products in an upscale medical grade skincare boutique. Experience this luxurious, welcoming, and inviting environment. We are dedicated to providing expert personalized care, artistry, wellness, beauty. That's Veil Skin and Lashes Medical Spa. Join us on the Leadville Railroad. This fun-filled train ride takes you and your family on an unforgettable trip through the heart of the Rockies for a half-day trip of adventure, relaxation, and sightseeing. Enjoy the spectacular Colorado scenery. Even meet the engineer. Book your adventure on the Leadville Railroad today at leadvillerailroad.com. Hey, down here on the river, looking up in the sky, I'll give you, I can't really give you quite a glance, but uh, we do have a lot of cloud cover right now. There's blue skies off to the west, but off to the east, a uh, fair amount of cloud cover. So it's a little bit cooler out here, first thing. And this cloud cover should burn off um, soon enough when that sun gets nice and high up in the sky. And then we'll see potential for more cloud cover and maybe some isolated on and off storms in the afternoon. Uh, your weather for Tuesday, we're gonna start First thing this morning at the eight o'clock hour, we're gonna be in the low to mid 40s for that high temperature. Uh, first thing this morning, not the high temperature, but our morning high. And then it's gonna warm up continually by the afternoon. We'll see a daytime high of 65 degrees in Vail. And we're gonna see mostly sunny skies on and off throughout the daytime with a 30% chance of maybe those isolated thunderstorms coming our way towards the end of the day. Now, as you look at your hourly forecast, you can see we're looking at sunshine. And then it'll be replaced by mostly sunny skies, some cloud cover, then the isolated thunderstorms. Uh, temperatures midday in the mid to upper 60s will drop to about 56 this evening with partly cloudy skies. And we're going to see uh, today that sun rose at 551 this morning. Deborah temperature 76 with a 20% chance of moisture. We'll see 65 for Vail with a 30% chance in the afternoon of those isolated thunderstorms. 68 degrees for the high in Avon with 30% chance of moisture and a 20% chance of some pop-up showers in the afternoon with a high of 71 down towards Eagle and Gypsum. Tonight we'll see a low of about 42 degrees, partly cloudy skies with our sun setting at 814. And then for the rest of the week, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, temperatures for the most part hovering in the mid 60s every day. We're going to see anywhere from a 20 to a 30% chance of moisture all the way up to a 60% chance on Friday with some afternoon thunderstorms. But we will see the sunshine hanging around day, daily also. So we're not going to be socked in with cloud cover and continued rain. Uh, but we are kind of in this unstable weather pattern where we are seeing these pop-up thunderstorms likely in the afternoon times and most of the time they don't even touch down on the ground so keep that in mind pack a light rain jacket go about your day uh, we shouldn't be too rattled by the chances of the 20 to 30 percent chance of a passing shower that's a look at your weather all right so brett one of our esteemed hosts of the show the scoreboard which is all about high school sports he had a chance to uh get connected with vale mountain school and the girls soccer team for the playoffs Let's find out more. This is the scoreboard on TV8. Hello, everyone, and welcome to the scoreboard. I'm your host, Brett Ferraro, and today we are talking all things playoffs, specifically Vail Mountain School playoffs. First, we're going to talk about their lacrosse team, who last Tuesday faced off against Middle Park. Now, they had an absolutely dominating performance with possession and shooting, and they came away from that game with a win. 10 to 4. What a great game they had. Now, they went away against Air Academy last Thursday. Unfortunately, they lost that game 10 to 9. However, we want to congratulate the Vail Mountain School lacrosse team for getting second in their league overall and just having a dominant performance this year. Congratulations, guys. Now, we're going to move on to their other sport, Women's soccer, who are absolutely dominant this season, winning their league with an almost perfect record and getting the second seed overall. Now, they faced a second-round playoff game on Saturday, 
against peak to peak. They had a very dominant performance, winning that game 3-0. We were able to talk with a few of their players after the game to see how they felt about it overall. Let's take a listen to what they have to say. Hello everyone, I am here at the beautiful Vail Mountain School soccer field where the Vail Mountain School girls soccer team just won their second round in the playoffs. I'm joined by two of the members of the team. Ladies, do you mind saying your name and what grade you're in? I'm Stella Stone and I'm a senior. I'm Leave Moritz and I'm a senior. That's very exciting. Now you guys had a great game today. Uh, what was the final score? It was 3-0. Very exciting. and. Who scored all the goals? I did it. <laughs> That's right. She got a hat trick. It was extremely exciting. Uh, you, are you used to getting hat tricks? How many goals have you scored this season? I think I'm up to 18 this season now, but without the help of my team, like I couldn't be anywhere. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What a great game, though. What do you guys think was the strongest part of your game today? I think the strongest part was our shape. Um, we especially were trying to work on switching the field more and playing wider, So, and um, we wanted to get in possession before we could score. So that was our entire goal. Oh, absolutely, and it definitely helps with the larger field that you guys have here to be able to stretch the, uh, the goal out, or the uh, field out, and be able to continue to keep possession. Um, have you found that you guys have been able to perform uh, exceptionally well with possession throughout the entire uh, season? I'd say so. I think our entire goal is to possess, and we want to possess before we can score. Mm -hmm. And if we're not possessing, we can't get there. Absolutely. Now, do you guys feel like you had any weaknesses this game that you're going to try and sure up before your next round of the playoffs? I mean, we have improved a lot, but we still have a lot to go. Um, our mindset is um, our next half is always better than the last one. So I think just hard work and playing for our teammates is what's going to get us there. No, absolutely. Now. Uh, Thinking back on the season overall, at the very beginning of the season, do you guys feel like you were destined to make it this far in the playoffs slash uh, get second seed overall? Um, I think at the beginning it was a little hard and we had to really push ourselves to get to where we are today. And yeah, we had a lot of unknowns. We lost a lot of players this year, but we've really grown into a team. So I think this is a special team, a special bond that we have. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, it was a much warmer day today as opposed to earlier in the season when you had about the 15-foot uh, berm surrounding your field. So it's definitely been a growing experience. But the school year is almost over. Do you guys have any plans for after you're finished with high school? Um, I'm planning to go to CU and possibly play club. Nice. And I'm going to be skiing and playing soccer at DU. Very cool. So both staying in our wonderful yeah. state of Colorado, which I loved, and I'm a CU alum as well. So beautiful school, beautiful place, and I love Colorado. So congratulations, girls, on the great win, and I can't wait to see how well you do next game. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but I want to thank the Vail Mountain School soccer team for speaking with me after their great win against Peak to Peak. Now, I just want to tell everyone that the Vail Mountain School soccer team is going to be playing Kent Denver tonight at 4.30 at Vail Mountain School, so be sure to go and support them as they are the last Valley team within the playoffs. I want to thank all of you for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next time. time of the morning where we're talking sun and ski product of the week now here we've got a great trail running shoe it's the men's north face summit vective pro if you're looking for a shoe to get out there and hit those trails all season long then this is the shoe for you it's breathable comfortable and high cushion it has a rocker midsole geometry which you can see right here in that allowing you to push off of your toes just a little bit stronger it's got innovative foam technology on the inside of the shoe which will show you right now this way you can be nice and comfortable as you're hitting those trails it also has carbon fiber plates in it for stabilization so if you're an avid trail runner then this is the shoe for you not only does it have all of these wonderful features but it's got some nice tread on the bottom of the sole to help you out there as you're hitting 
hitting the trails. Now, if you know someone or yourself, if you're a trail runner, well then make sure that you head over to Sun and Ski Sports to get your hands on these fabulous shoes. You can also head over to their website at sunandski.com. That way you can get more information on the shoes and order them in your correct size. We want to thank Sun and Ski Sports for bringing you this product of the week. We're going to take a short break and when we come back, we've got more of the show. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Hi, it's Maddie from TV8 Vale. Do you ever wonder why our tagline is there's more for you on Channel 92? Because we're always bringing you more Good Morning Vale every day from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. all year long. More scoreboard updates every Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday. More Good Day Vale, two back-to-back -back episodes daily at 11 a.m. and 5 p.m. More new segments and shows highlighting our local community. Find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 on YouTube or on our website at tv8vale.com. Are you looking for exciting and nutritious recipes to cook at home? Watch Colorful Cooking with Tracy Miller on TV8 Vale. Tracy brings you the best in fresh and healthy foods for the active outdoor lifestyle. Stream online at tv8vale.com or find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. There's more for you on 92. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Do you love to get some giggles and to also watch some intense shows where people are competing for large sums of money? Well, then Masterminds is the show for you. It's a new game show that you can get really into only because it has a unique format. I had the opportunity to sit down and interview the host of Masterminds not too long ago to really talk more about what you can expect from this show. So let's introduce you to the hosts right now. The ultimate battle of knowledge is on right now as the show masterminds its way, making its way back for its new season return. And we've got Brooke Burns and Mark the Beast Labette. Thank you guys so much for taking some time to chat with me this morning. Of course. Thank you for having us. All right. So I have to know where the nickname The Beast comes from. My name is Mark Labette and it's French for <laughs> The Beast which kind of fits uh, me at 6'6 six, six and 290. And my little brother, Big Phil, 6'9 and 3'10, and he's known as the Bigger Beast. You can say he grew into his name. Yeah. He grew <laughs> into his name. Well, not only that, but you yourself are one of the masterminds. And so can you tell people how you received the title of being a mastermind? Uh, well, I was the world's first, well, one of the world's first professional quizzes in the UK. I've played a lot on the British national circuit. I've got multiple national titles. And then plus that, most top quizzes are by nature introverts, which isn't great for TV, whereas I'm blessed with a nice, big, forceful personality, which makes me perfect for the role. That's one way which of describing it. You guys are such a force to be reckoned with when you guys hit the stage together. Now, Brooke, as the host of this fabulous show, can you give us some more information on exactly what takes place on Masterminds? Absolutely. We have three American contestants that come and play against three of our Masterminds. They're in it for the $10,000 that they can possibly win if they defeat the Masterminds one time. Uh, something new we've added this season that I think makes it, you know, even more exciting is that if they win twice, earning $20,000, they then take the place of one of our masterminds on the stage and get to play as a mastermind. And as Beastie can contest to, it's in the trivia world, that's really what it's about, is being able to show off their knowledge and, of course, who they can beat. And if they can beat the Beast, that's pretty impressive. <laughs> That's it. I, I've raised the arm in triumph for one person who beat me because respect was yoked. And that person was so made up that they'd won. The money was almost immaterial. Exactly. At the other time, there's been other people who've been, they've literally been crushed after losing that second match. And you need a heart of stone not to feel sorry for them. So I, of course, am laughing. <laughs> which, you, which you have, which you possess, Beastie. Well, this is a ton of fun. 
for people to watch. Now, if people want to get involved and they want to compete against the beast, what's the best way for them to do so? Ooh, practice, 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 and then audition. <laughs> we have a lot of tests, but they go have ahead. to go. Yeah, no, they just have to, you know, go through casting. They have a lot of tests that they have to go through and answer. And then obviously there's, as BC was saying, a bit of a personality test, you know, to make sure that it's also good for TV. And now, if people are interested in watching the show. Better, sorry to talking over you. You can very <laughs> much get better again. and better at trivia. So the more you practice, the better you get. Which are great things for people to note, and especially if they're interested. Now, if people want to watch the show so they can start learning trivia that way, where can they see the show? Absolutely. It's on GSN. Our new premiere is tonight, Eastern Time at 6 p.m. Game Show Network. This is going to be a ton of fun. Thank you guys so much for giving us all this great information. Now, what's the one highlight of the new season besides people can beat the masterminds and replace the masterminds that you guys are looking forward to? The best part of the new season is sitting in front of you right there in glasses. Mark, the Beast Levette, is joining us for the first time. As mastermind. I personally think the best bit was when Brooke, who's normally been very prim and pop proper, starts throwing shade around the set. And she was <laughs> brutal on some of my colleagues. I can take it because I've known her for 10 years. And you can be as rude as you like to your old friends. Some of my colleagues were crushed by her put downs. <laughs> What are you talking about? Beastie is the only one who brings out the evil in me. <laughs> <laughs> you guys seem like a ton of fun to work with. Thank you so much for this great information. And we cannot wait to see the new season. Thank you. Yeah, check it out. Nice to talk to you, Maddie. Thank you, Maddie. Nice to meet you both and enjoy where you guys are right now. Same for you. Hit those slopes for us. Oh, I definitely will. Don't worry. Make sure that you tune in, tune into Masterminds. That way you can see how good your trivia is. That way maybe you can take down the beast. We're going to take a short break. And when we come back, we've got more of the show. So stay tuned. Good morning, Vale. Join us on the Leadville Railroad. This fun-filled train ride takes you and your family on an unforgettable trip through the heart of the Rockies for a half-day trip of adventure, relaxation, and sightseeing. Enjoy the spectacular Colorado scenery. Even meet the engineer. Book your adventure on the Leadville Railroad today at leadvillerailroad.com. If you haven't seen Good Day Vale lately, here's what you've been missing. And I'm the host of Good Day Vale, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvavale.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vale Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. 
Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash co. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to our number two of Good Morning Vale. We love getting to be here each and every morning for the full two hours to bring you so much community information and what's taking place. I'm your in-studio host today, Maddie Evans, and we have the one and only Mark Sassy out and about, well known for his experience on the river and bringing you some great knowledge and information. So we'll check in with him in just a moment. Now for the upcoming hour of Good Morning Vale that we have left, not only are we going to talk all things mental health as it is Mental Health Awareness Month for the month of May and it is really important to give yourself that extra time to just focus on you and really take care of your mental health. So we're going to talk about it here in just a moment. But then we've got Rhiannon Rowe from the Eagle County Animal Shelter who's going to introduce you to a very sweet, very shy puppy first thing this morning and I just had the chance to sit out there and give her some kisses and she is absolutely to die for cute so you're going to want to stay tuned for that as well as we were doing some cooking in the first hour of Good Morning Vale with Tracy Miller from Colorful Cooking Well we're going to check back in and finish up the delicious recipe but we're going to take it over to Mark right now who's going to give us a look at that local weather forecast now we saw some beautiful sunshine first thing this morning now we're seeing a little bit of cloud coverage roll in and so Mark's going to give us a look at that full weather forecast Mark, Mark, what's the temperature out there first thing this morning like? Has it started to warm up or is it getting a little bit cooler with those clouds rolling in? Uh, it's getting a little bit cooler out here. We've had, let me give you a quick little gander upriver. You can see the sun trying to break out up there, but for the most part, it's kind of socked in with some clouds. A little bit of blue sky off towards the west. Less blue sky than what we saw earlier on, so I think we're gonna see more cloudy skies first thing than, uh, than what we expected, but that's typical with our little microclimate of weather here. You can never get it on point exactly in terms of our weather. We will see temperatures though uh, in the mid 40s to start in Vail. I think we'll see a temperature right around now, you know, 45 to 47 degrees. And then we'll see a, a mixture of sunshine and clouds in Vail today. There's a 30% chance of maybe some moisture coming our way later on in the afternoon. Vail's going to see a high temperature of about 65 degrees with that 30% chance of maybe a little bit of moisture coming our way. Your hourly forecast, we'll see, I mean, they're calling for sunshine first thing this morning, then, then, then making way for mostly sunny skies with a few clouds by noon time, but that might be kicking in a little bit earlier. Temperatures around noon, 60 degrees, high temperatures, 65 degrees, coming your way probably two to three o'clock in the afternoon. Denver temperatures today, pretty mild, about 76 along the front range. And they're gonna have a slight chance, 20% chance of maybe a pop-up shower, but they're gonna see lots of sunshine there today. For Vail, 65 with a 30% chance. Avon 68 with a 30% chance of some moisture, then a 20% chance of something coming our way in the afternoon with 71 for the high in Eagle. Tonight we'll see uh, sun setting at about 814 and we'll see 42 degrees for that low temperature tonight with a 20% chance of moisture with partly cloudy skies. And then we'll see 67 with a 20% chance for Wednesday in Vail, 66 for high in Vail on Thursday with some isolated thunderstorms possible. Afternoon thunderstorms with a high of 62 this Friday and then Saturday 64 for the high with partly cloudy skies and then 67 for a high on Sunday with maybe some more uh, pop-up thunderstorms coming our way in the afternoon for Sunday. 
Uh, so unstable weather, uh, sunshiny days in the morning mixed with some cloud cover and some passing showers on and off throughout the daytime. Uh, nothing too alarming. It's kind of typical spring weather here in the area, Eagle County area. Uh, but you know what? It's on track and we're going to have summer here real soon and we get real nice. Leaves are starting to pop and the trees are starting to bloom and uh, we're getting there. It's just a slow start to summer here in the mountains. We're going to take a quick break. When we come back, we've got more of the show. We're going to check in with Maddie. We're going to fill you in on Mental Health Month. We have more cooking in the kitchen with Tracy. I've got another fishing report. And we got some pets coming into the studio with the Eagle County Animal Shelter. We'll be right back with hour number two. Good morning, Vale. Map Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Do you love the outdoor lifestyle? Well, then make sure you tune in every day at 6.30 and 10.30 p.m. to catch The Scoreboard Nation. It's an outdoor lifestyle show dedicated to your three favorite mountain towns, Park City, Utah, Vail, Colorado, and Reno, Tahoe. I'll be your host, Maddie Evans, and I can't wait to see you there. When people think of world-class destinations, they're drawn to a place that provides opportunities for fine dining, shopping, superior lodging, exciting events, and unparalleled outdoor activities. Park City, Utah and Vail, Colorado are renowned destinations for travelers and extraordinary homes for residents. Feature your exceptional products and services in these two luxury communities. Advertise with Park City Television and TV8 Vail. Contact us today. Welcome back to the show. We spend a lot of time talking about mental health and why it's important. Well, mental health is super important, and especially during the month of May, as it is Mental Health Awareness Month. Now, there is a Mental Health Action Day, and we've got Jay joining us to chat about why this is so important. Thank you for taking the time to chat with us this morning, Jay. Maddie, thank you so much for having me. Now, you have a really cool job working with MTV where you kind of follow the trends of some impact that can happen from the social aspect. So let's talk a little bit about why this Mental Health Action Day is so important. Thank you so much. Um, I'm very lucky to, to stand on the shoulders of, of those who came before me that have, have really laid the groundwork to, to focus on, on mental health. Uh, and Mental Health Action Day exists to push our culture from awareness to action on mental health. Now, what's the difference between the awareness and the action that people should start to look out for? Yeah, so it's uh, awareness to action is really about um, removing the stigma and normalizing conversations about mental health. You know, we all have mental health and, and each of us can do uh, a variety of different things to care for our mental health. It doesn't have to be super complicated. It can just be simple things like like going up for a walk or, or reaching out to a friend. Um, those little things um, can sometimes make a very big difference. 
Now, MTV is doing such a great job of breaking the stigma, and they're also doing some great work with partnering with nonprofits to break that stigma, stigma and make it more accessible to people to have that mental health resource. And so let's talk about what MTV is doing. Yes, I'm so excited to say that we have granted 22 organizations uh, our nonprofit partners this year, in addition to the over 2,000 partners that the network has has grown towards. And you know, we really want to encourage and empower people from around the world to take one hour for themselves, their loved ones, or their community on Mental Health Action Day, May 18th. Which I think it's so important that people take that hour regularly. It's not something they just do this week or this day. They make sure that they're spending enough time to really focus on themselves because it is important. And especially when you live in towns where there's always a lot of stuff happening, you can get caught up in the stuff and forget about yourself. And so we talked about it, getting out, taking a walk, calling a friend, and then doing some of those other self-care routines. And of course, sometimes it's really important that you just sit down and you enjoy a good TV show with yourself to focus a little bit on your mental health. Absolutely, um, it, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be huge, as we were talking about. There's a, a great study that has recently come out of the University of Pittsburgh that that tracks, you know, the small actions in sending a text message to a friend, and and they tracked and found out that those little text messages and small small gestures end up making so much more of a difference than than we could have imagined. So, you know, would really encourage everybody to to go to mentalhealthishealth.us and look for look for an action that that works for you. Uh, every day should be mental health action day, but on May 18th we get to we get to celebrate it and and try to try to push culture from awareness to action. Now, as someone who follows these trends as the social impact, one of the social impact directors of MTV, what have you been noticing besides just maybe that text message to remind the people in your life that you love them? Well, I think it's um, Dr. Vivek Murthy recently released this a, um, a study really chronicling how much loneliness has become an epidemic amongst young people. And so we're really trying to encourage um, it, people to lean on their support networks. You know, it's, it's all about trying to remove the stigma uh, of mental health and, and normalize conversations around it because we all have mental health. Now, if you were to give someone a tip or trick right now, besides reaching out and surrounding themselves with those people that they love, what would you say to people who are maybe struggling a little bit with their mental health right now? I think it's, it's important just to take the first step. Um, you know, oftentimes it could be a variety of different activities, but whatever, whatever you enjoy that brings you into the present moment, you know, so you're not ruminating on the past or having anxiety about the future, you know, whatever activity can bring you into this present moment can be a great place to start. And what was that website that you were giving us earlier for people to check out and that way they can have those great resources with themselves? Thank you so much. I'd, I'd encourage anybody to go to mentalhealthishealth.us uh, to look for an action that, that works for them. Jay, we want to thank you so much for taking the time to break the stigma, only because this is a stigma that is nationwide. And so if we all talk about it, we all just become a little bit more vulnerable and we take those steps forward to break the stigma, then I feel like our mental health will increase across the board. Couldn't agree more. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us, and thanks for all the hard work you do to help break the stigma. Make sure that you go online and you check out that fabulous website. That way you can get more information on how you can help yourself with your mental health. And the more we break the stigma, the more we're open and the more we talk about it, the better our mental health will be as a nation. We're going to take a short break, and when we come back, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned. Hello everyone, now is the time to refresh your floors. I'm Mandy Benedict, I'd love to invite you into our showroom to explore our 12,000 square foot showroom where you can view all different floors installed, see what it looks like in a larger space. One of our uh, greatest growing products is waterproof wood flooring, which for our environment with kids and dogs and ski boot and our mountain lifestyle, this is a great flooring 
option. I brought one of the planks with me today. They're nice, long, wide planks. They're embossed on grain, so they look beautiful, but they perform really well in our mountain lifestyle. We have all employee installers. They've been working for over a decade with us, and we have a lifetime installation warranty. So not only do we make sure that the client gets what they want, we know what this climate needs. We have beautiful reclaimed floors, herringbone, really anything that you're looking for to update your home or your business. We have it at Ruggs Benedict. We provide free estimates. So come in and visit us in the store. We'd love to see you. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, one of our favorite things to do is introduce you to maybe your forever furry friend. And we've got one joining me on the couch right now. She's just a sweet little scared baby. And so we've got Rhiannon and Roe and Leaf joining us. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> I am in love. I've been spending some time with Leaf this morning. And uh, she's just a scared little baby. She is. Yeah, she is a little, you know, a little stage fright, but that's okay. <laughs> I mean, it's bright in here. There are a lot of lights. There are a lot of people that are dog people who are really excited. But she looks like a baby fox. She does. Yeah, she's gorgeous. Her and her siblings are just beautiful pups, and they're not going to be too big because they're already five months old. So she's she's going to be a good size uh, for the mountain lifestyle. Oh my gosh, look at that face right there. She, she literally looks like a little tiny baby fox. And then yeah. when you get her ears to come up, they're so big and they're so pretty, huh? It's okay, I know, it's scary. Now, five months old, and how much does she weigh right now? She's a little over 20 pounds, so not too big at all. Look, there we go. Now we've got those ears a little bit coming up, <laughs> and she's just relaxing, hopefully, a little bit more. She was scared out in the green room, and so it's hard when you're becoming a celebrity, huh? You've had a rough couple of days. <laughs> now, where did her and her siblings come from? Uh, they came from a reservation right outside of Moab. So pretty pretty uh, rough start to their life, but I think, uh, you know, it's only going to go up from here. Yeah, which I think is so important, and that's why we're always so grateful to have you guys come on yeah. and show these dogs, because not everyone understands that sometimes it is hard to have that start of your life, and come back from it and that dogs are so resilient and especially when they get into the homes where they're surrounded by love and they're surrounded by people and they're just exposed to what it feels like to have a good home. Yeah, no, she's great. She's she's a very playful puppy uh, when she's not um, nervous. Right. And she's <laughs> uh, a little bit nervous right now. Yes, <laughs> but she's great. You know, she's already spayed. Um, she's microchipped. She's up to date on her vaccination. So she's ready to go home. And so all people have to do is come in sit down, meet all three of the puppies, her and her siblings, to see which one is the best fit for them because sometimes in these moments, these dogs definitely choose you. Yes. And so you <laughs> just have to see which one of the three is going to choose you. Absolutely, yeah, and get some puppy snuggles and have some fun while you're at it. <laughs> some puppy snuggles with this little beautiful fox face. Hi, honey. 
Do you know that you have a fox face? Now, if people are interested in adopting maybe Lee for one of her two other siblings, what's the adoption process like? Yeah, we have you come down to our shelter. We're located in Eagle, right past the fairgrounds. Um, you know, once you uh, pick out the one that's going to be that uh, that right fit, we'll have you fill out an application. Um, if you do rent, just come prepared with um, your landlord's contact information so we can get a hold of them, make sure everything is good. If you have other dogs or other members of your family, we ask the, that you bring them to the shelter as well. So everybody is on the same page and ready for the new family member. Which I think is so important, and especially if you have those other dogs at home, only yes. because sometimes they get a little bit territorial, or sometimes having that extra fur baby in the house breaks their heart. <laughs> and so you've got to be prepared for whatever your outcome is. I mean, I talk to Rhiannon all the time. I'm in the market for a small dog because I think Beatrice would do so much better with a friend, but I also am fully aware that she is such a one person kind of dog that it would be hard to introduce her to a new one and have that dog fully become incorporated in our life. And so these are all steps that you guys take to prepare a dog to go to its forever home and stay in its forever home. Yes, absolutely. As much as I love Leaf, I don't want to see Leaf back at the shelter. I want right. her to go out and experience life and, and just have a wonderful time with her new family. And look how sweet she is. Look at her snuggling on your leg right now. And <laughs> yeah. Now she's like, oh, there's movement on the other side of the camera. I got to <laughs> look around. But she's such a good, sweet little baby. And you can tell that she's going to have such a wonderful temperament. Now, being a res dog, you guys don't really have a guess of what her breed is. We don't. No, we don't know much about her, her past. But um, we do have lots of resources to talk to you about what it's like to adopt a res dog um, and just kind of some steps to help uh, acclimate them to your, to your lifestyle. Which I think is so important and of course as people are interested in adopting dogs or maybe they're not ready to make that full-time commitment to have a dog for its entire <laughs> life, you can always foster. Absolutely. Fostering, volunteering, you know, we always need help from the public and we're so fortunate to live in a community where people want to help. People love animals out here. It's so amazing. <laughs> it is so amazing because you go out anywhere and you see people just with their dogs or loving on everyone else's yes. dogs or making sure that they get all of that love out there. Now you guys have a lot of great upcoming events and one of them is the GoPro Mountain Games where you're going to partner with the Vale Valley Foundation to help up to 19 dogs find their forever homes. Yeah, that is our, you know, the, the mother of all events is those mountain games. And so we're super excited. We have so many um, sponsors that are helping us out. You know, you're going to, you know, whoever adopts there is going to be um, not only getting a, a perfect puppy to, to come into their lives, but also a lot of really great um, gifts that they can take home with them to, to make that transition even easier. Which is so wonderful, and that's one of those things where you can see our community rally. Now, yeah. sometimes we come to the community when we're talking to you and we ask for any community outreach items. Is there anything that you guys are in the market for right now? Old blankets or food or cleaning supplies? Yeah, you know, I know spring cleaning is happening right now. So, yeah, any old towels, blankets, we can always use those. If your pup's not really enjoying some of their toys, we can always take toys to, to bring in. So these guys like Leaf can have um, some enrichment while they're in their kennels. Uh, you know, dog treats, cat treats, we take it all. <laughs> you guys take it all, and then you guys do have some great volunteer opportunities for people to get involved with the animal shelter. And that way, maybe if they're not fully ready to make that commitment to a dog or a cat, they can come and they can help you guys socialize some of these animals so that then they're not a little bit timid when they come to their new homes. Yeah, we, we always need volunteers to play with the puppies, play with the kittens. We are packed full of kittens right now, so if you want some kitten love now is the time. <laughs> it is kitten season and yes. especially as we are seeing spring that's the best part about spring is there's always new babies yes. and uh, look at this sweet little new baby with her big <laughs> sandy uppy ears. Hi, do you have the cutest face anyone on here has ever seen? I think that you do. Don't let them, don't let her fool you. She has lots of energy. <laughs> <laughs> well, she, can, you can see that she has lots of energy, but that she literally perfectly has a fox face. Yes. <laughs> it is so cute. And do her siblings look a lot? They similar? all look different. So her sister is black and tan, and her brother kind of has that same coloring as, as Leaf does, but just a little bit different. So he's very handsome. <laughs> I can only imagine. Now, if people do want to foster, what's the process like to become a foster? Yeah, so we have you come in and talk with us. Uh, we want to get a little uh, to know a little bit more about you, um, about your home life. What are you looking to to accomplish while fostering? And then um, we'll take your information down. And when the opportunity arises, we'll give you a call and go from there. 
which I think is such a great way to start getting involved in, especially if you're someone who maybe already has a dog, like I already have a dog, but she needs a little more socialization and I think she needs a friend. <laughs> and so I think that the foster process would be a great way for me to just start introducing dogs back into her life, but also to find that perfect match to maybe find her a forever sibling. There you go. Yeah, we have lots of foster failures. It's great. <laughs> <laughs> it's, great. it's a good way to do it. Now, yes. what other events besides just the GoPro Mountain Games do you guys have coming up? Yeah, so a week from today um, is Margaritas and Mutts at El Segundo at the uh, Eagle location. And then um, next Friday, so not this coming Friday, but the Friday after, we'll be working again with 10th Mountain for another Whiskey and Wags event. So that's going to be really fun. Which all of these events are so wonderful. Just if you're not even in the market to bring a dog home right now, maybe you live in a place where you can't have them, this is a good way to just go get some puppy love, show some love to the dogs that are in the shelter right now, but also to take some time and have a cocktail and just learn more about what you guys do at the Eagle County Animal Shelter, which is incredible. Yeah, we're so fortunate to have such great businesses that want to help us. Um, great locations. I mean, El Segundo has the perfect patio, the grassy area for the dogs to just hang out. So it's really nice to be able just to, to talk with people and, and get to see these dogs out in the, with the public and, and just learn more about them. Now, Rhiannon, if people want more information <laughs> on the Eagle County Animal Shelter, where can they find you guys online? Uh, we have our Facebook page, Eagle County Animal Shelter and Services, and then also our website, eaglecounty.us. Uh, we have all of our up-to-date photos of the animals that are, are looking for their forever homes, uh, also information about volunteering and fostering. Um, so yeah, come check it out. And it's all just right there on the website, and then you can see dogs like Leaf and her beautiful sib siblings, Forrest and Wolf. Yes. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I love it, Rhiannon. And thank you so much for taking the time to chat with us and bringing in sweet little baby Leaf. Thank you. Make sure that you go to their website if you are in the market to have a forever friend, and that way you can bring a dog like Leaf home because that fox face is absolutely <laughs> one to fall in love with. Now we're going to take a short break, and when we come back from the break, we've got more of the show, so stay tuned. Good morning, babe. It's that time of the morning where we're talking Sun and Ski product of the week. Now, here we've got a great trail running shoe. It's the Men's North Face Summit Vective Pro. If you're looking for a shoe to get out there and hit those trails all season long, then this is the shoe for you. It's breathable, comfortable, and high cushion. It has a rocker mid midsole geometry, which you can see right here in that, allowing you to push off of your toes just a little bit stronger. It's got innovative foam technology on the inside of the shoe which we'll show you right now. This way you can be nice and comfortable as you're hitting those trails. It also has carbon fiber plates in it for stabilization. So if you're an avid trail runner, then this is the shoe for you. Not only does it have all of these wonderful features, but it's got some nice tread on the bottom of the sole to help you out there as you're hitting the trails. Now, if you know someone or yourself, if you're a trail runner, well then make sure that you head over to Sun and Ski Sports to get your hands on these fabulous shoes. You can also head over to their website at sunandski.com. That way you can get more information on the shoes and order them in your correct size. We want to thank Sun and Ski Sports for bringing you this product of the week. We're going to take a short break and when we come back we've got more of the show. Nap Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh locally produced products. Our indoor farmers market is open seven days a week featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Eyepieces of Vale has been a fixture in the Vale community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high-performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses, and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory. Eyepieces, the art of vision. Time to rise and shine? There's no better way to start your day off than with the Good Morning Vale crew. 
You asked for more and TV8 delivered. Good Morning Vale is here for you with your local news, sports, weather, and community events every morning from 7 a.m. to 9 a.m. No matter the season, we give you a reason to watch. So grab your coffee and join the fun. Live stream us at TV8Vale.com or on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92. And remember, there's more for you on 92. Good morning, Vale! Hey, welcome back to the show. I'm in my way up towards uh, just outside of Minturn at Little Beach Park where they have the amphitheater and a big playground. Uh, down here on the Eagle River, we have a little bit more sunshine trying to burn off some of this cloud cover. And it looks like these clouds today are moving out of the kind of the west, northwest, a little bit different change of plans here today. We are going to see sunshine for a good part of the day mixed with this cloud cover along with maybe a pop-up afternoon thunderstorm or shower about a 30% chance. As we look at Vail's forecast for the day, then we'll take a look at that hourly forecast next. Uh, we'll see a temperature in Vail, high temperature midday. We're looking at the mid to upper 60s. Uh, we touched off at 47 degrees at 8 o'clock this morning with our sun rising at 551 this morning. We'll see a 30% chance of a mixture of moisture in the afternoon hours. Vail by the hour, once again, 60 around noon, 60 around 4 p.m., and that high temperature during the day, 65 degrees. We have some isolated possibilities of some isolated thunderstorms, you know, around the four o'clock hour with a, hot, with a temperature around 56 degrees at eight o'clock tonight. Denver temperatures today, 76 with a 20% chance of some moisture, 30% chance and 65 for a high in Vail, a 30% chance with a high of 68 in Avon, and then 71 for a high temperature in Eagle with a 20% chance. Tonight we'll see that sun setting at about 814, partly cloudy skies with a low of 42 degrees. And then for the rest of the week, for um, Wednesday, 67 for a high in Vail with a 20% chance in the afternoon, maybe of a passing shower with mostly sunny skies. Isolated thunderstorms, 30% chance with a high of 66 on Thursday. And then we have some afternoon thunderstorms, 60% chance of those with a high of 62 on Friday. Partly cloudy, with a 30% chance of some showers, maybe on Saturday with a high of 64, then high of 67 on Sunday, with a 50% chance of maybe some afternoon thunderstorms. That's a look at your weather from Minturn in the 8 o'clock hour. Real quick, I have some fish pictures to share with you. Uh, Tom Rushlow, one of my senior guides, once again goes by the name of the professor. He went out with a client yesterday, great client, wanting to learn a little bit how to fish and where to fish. Tom got him on some fish, and this guy was a happy camper. I'm sure he was. If you want to go do some fishing with Tom or with any of us here at Minturn Anglers, give us a call, 970-827-9500. It's only going to get better once we see these river levels start to recede here in the next couple of weeks. All right, all right. Once again, let's shift gears a little bit. Uh, Eagle County, full of high school sports. And then we have uh, Brett and Ben, two of our... Uh, colleagues that like to put on the show the scoreboard. Brett had a chance to check in with the Vail Mountain School, the girls soccer team, during their playoffs. Let's find out how that went. This is the scoreboard on TV8. Hello everyone and welcome to the scoreboard. I'm your host Brett Ferraro and today we are talking all things playoffs, specifically Vail Mountain School playoffs. First we're going to talk about their lacrosse team who last Tuesday faced off against Middle Park. Now they had an absolutely dominating performance with possession and shooting and they came away from that game with a win. 10 to 4. What a great game they had. Now, they went away against Air Academy last Thursday. Unfortunately, they lost that game 10 to 9. However, we want to congratulate the Vail Mountain School lacrosse team for getting second in their league overall and just having a dominant performance this year. Congratulations, guys. Now, we're going to move on to their other sport, Women's soccer, who are absolutely dominant this season, winning their league with an almost perfect record and getting the second seed overall. Now, they faced a second round playoff game on Saturday against Peak to Peak. They had a very dominant performance, winning that game 3-0. We were able to talk with a few of their players after the game to see how they felt about it overall. Let's take a listen to what they have to say. 
Hello everyone, I am here at the beautiful Vail Mountain School soccer field where the Vail Mountain School girls soccer team just won their second round in the playoffs. I'm joined by two of the members of the team. Ladies, do you mind saying your name and what grade you're in? I'm Stella Stone and I'm a senior. I'm Leave Moritz and I'm a senior. That's very exciting. Now you guys had a great game today. Uh, what was the final score? It was 3-0. Very exciting. and. Who scored all the goals? I did. This one. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. She got a hat trick. It was extremely exciting. Uh, do you, are you used to getting hat tricks? How many goals have you scored this season? I think I'm up to 18 this season now, but without the help of my team, like I couldn't be anywhere. Oh, absolutely, absolutely. What a great game, though. What do you guys think was the strongest part of your game today? I think the strongest part was our shape. Um, we especially were trying to work on switching the field more and playing wider. So, and um, we wanted to gain possession before we could score. So that was our entire goal. Oh, absolutely, and it definitely helps with the larger field that you guys have here to be able to stretch the uh, the goal out or the uh, field out and be able to continue to keep possession. Um, have you found that you guys have been able to perform uh, exceptionally well with possession throughout the entire uh, season? I'd say so. I think our entire goal is to possess, and we want to possess before we can score. Mm -hmm. And if we're not possessing, we can't get there. Absolutely. Now, do you guys feel like you had any weaknesses this game that you're going to try and sure up before your next round of the playoffs? I mean, we have improved a lot, but we still have a lot to go. Um, our mindset is um, our next half is always better than the last one. So I think just hard work and playing for our teammates is what's going to get us there. No, absolutely. Now. Uh, Thinking back on the season overall, at the very beginning of the season, do you guys feel like you were destined to make it this far in the playoffs slash uh, get second seed overall? Um, I think at the beginning it was a little hard and we had to really push ourselves to get to where we are today. And yeah, we had a lot of unknowns. We lost a lot of players this year, but we've really grown into a team. So I think this is a special team, a special bond that we have. Yeah. Absolutely. Now, it was a much warmer day today as opposed to earlier in the season when you had about the 15-foot of berm surrounding your field. So it's definitely been a growing experience. But the school year is almost over. Do you guys have any plans for after you're finished with high school? Um, I'm planning to go to CU and possibly play club. Nice. And I'm going to be skiing and playing soccer at DU. Very cool. So both staying in our wonderful yeah. state of oh, Colorado, yeah. which I loved, and I'm a CU alum as well. So cool. beautiful school, beautiful place, and I love Colorado. So congratulations, girls, on the great Thank win, so and I can't wait to see how well you do next Thank game. Thank you so much. Thank you. Of course. Unfortunately, we're out of time, but I want to thank the Vail Mountain School soccer team for speaking with me after their great win against Peak to Peak. Now, I just want to tell everyone that the Vail Mountain School soccer team is going to be playing Kent Denver tonight at 4.30 at Vail Mountain School, so be sure to go and support them as they are the last Valley team within the playoffs. I want to thank all of you for watching, and I can't wait to see you all next time. Join Good Day Vale May 15th through May 19th for a special week of redefining your living space. We'll be featuring tips and tricks from experts in real estate, home furnishing, flooring, and more. Just one more reason why there's more for you on Channel 92. Welcome to the TV8 Viewers Choice Awards, where we celebrate the videos that got the most views on our YouTube page from you, our viewers. I'm Maddie Evans, and let's see who's taking home the prizes for the month of April. Taking home the bronze is Good Morning Vale's April 13th edition, featuring the Vale Christian High School Theater Department. The silver award goes to Good Morning Vale on April 10th, featuring recruiter guy Bill Humbert. The gold goes to Good Morning Vale on April 22nd. The scoreboard covers track and field at Eagle Valley High School. The Platinum Award goes to Good Morning Vale on April 6th, featuring lacrosse with VMS and Eagle Valley High School. And clinching the number one spot and taking home the Diamond Award, Good Morning Vale on April 15th, the Pike family from Florida giving us their rendition of Good Morning Vale. If you missed any of these trending videos, make sure that you check out our YouTube page, TV8's Good Morning Vale, and check out the playlist for the Viewer's Choice Awards for the month of April. Thank you so much for joining me. I've been your host, Maddie Evans, and I'll see you next time.
Here at Sun and Ski Sports, we are all about having the best summer adventures. Our full service bike shop is here to help you get back on the saddle with services ranging from simple tire changes, full bike overhauls, and rentals. If trail running, hiking, or trips to the lake are your thing, our expert staff will fit you in the best performing footwear or clothing. And don't forget about a relaxing day on the water with our stand-up paddleboard rentals. Call Sun and Ski Sports in Avon or Dillon today or learn more at sunandski.com forward slash co. Join us on the Leadville Railroad. This fun-filled train ride takes you and your family on an unforgettable trip through the heart of the Rockies for a half-day trip of adventure, relaxation, and sightseeing. Enjoy the spectacular Colorado scenery. Even meet the engineer. Book your adventure on the Leadville Railroad today at leadvillerailroad.com. Vale Skin and Lashes, located in the heart of Avon, offers a full array of aesthetic and medical treatments and services. We feature only the highest quality products in an upscale medical grade skincare boutique. Experience this luxurious, welcoming, and inviting environment. We are dedicated to providing expert personalized care, artistry, wellness, beauty. That's Vale Skin and Lashes Medical Spa. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. Now, earlier in the show, we had introduced you to Tracy Miller from Colorful Cooking to help you make some delicious recipes. Well, we're going to check back in with Tracy Miller to finish making up these salmon sandwiches, which are absolutely to die for delicious, and they're easy to do, so you're not going to want to miss out on what she's got cooking in the kitchen. The salmon has just been cooking slowly, so what I'm going to do is pull it off of the pan and let it rest for a minute. And then that, what's gonna happen is that skin is gonna come off really, really easily and then we'll slice it or, or we'll shred it for the sandwiches. So our sandwiches are gonna have salmon, lettuce, avocado, tomato, and sriracha mayo. I thought we had needed to kick it into high gear a little bit. I guess I've been craving spicy or something because we have the pepperoncinis in the um, pot, in the, in the potato salad, and then we have some sriracha mayo. Of course, you can make this mayo on your own if you prefer to do that. I usually do, but I've found that I've been using it for so many different ingredients and different dishes that it's just easy to buy it like this and um, easy to carry it around if you're doing picnics or anything like that. It just gives you that spice that you're looking for. All right, let's move on to avocados. So avocados became such a trendy ingredient in the last year that like some of the big wig chefs in, in New York and stuff like that, they're not even using avocados anymore. They're like, ooh, avocado, that was so yesterday. Me, I love an avocado. However, they've gotten really expensive. And if you can find one for a good price, definitely buy it. But that's one of those things that you don't want to waste it. If you're paying $2.50 for this little avocado, you don't want to waste it. Um, when you're picking out an avocado, you want it to have a little bit of give not a lot because that means it's going to be bruised and brown inside, but you want it to have a little tiny bit of give there. You can kind of mush it a little bit. And then if the stem right there kind of pops off easy like that, that means that it's totally ripe. And make sure you get rid of that stem because nobody wants to chew that in their salmon sandwich. Okay, here is how you cut an avocado and peel it. This is the easiest way. This is the way you're going to get the most nutrients out of your avocado as well. You just take it. This is like what we did with the peach, or we tried to do with the peach, but it was underripe. But this is what you do. Peaches are stone fruits, and they have that pit right in the middle like an avocado. You cut it around, and then you turn it like that, and then you have your beautiful avocado. And this is a good one, for sure. That looks really, really good. I'm not wasting any bit of that. And then you cut it in half, and then you peel it like a banana. Ready? Look at that. A lot of the nutrients in many different fruits and vegetables are as close to the skin as possible. So you don't want to waste it. So this is absolutely the easiest way, in my opinion, to get the beauty of the avocado and all the meat that you have in there. So then we're going to slice it. A serving size should probably be about a quarter of an avocado. So that's what we're going to stick with when we make this sandwich. So slice that nice and thin. 
fan it out a little because we are going to put a little salt and pepper on it. Fruits and veggies, I, I really think, need some salt and pepper. Even fruit, actually, sometimes just needs a little bit, you know. You just, and you also want to flavor as you go when you're building sandwiches and different things. You can choose whatever kind of bread you want for this sandwich. A brioche roll would be really nice. I, I love these little four inch steak rolls that I get from Walmart actually. They hold up really nicely. They're not dried out and they're just kind of a perfect size in my opinion for a sandwich. Now, like I was saying, your avocado serving size is about a quarter. So we're gonna put like three or four slices right there on the bottom. Let's see, get that right down there and kind of smush it in a little so that it becomes like a spread. You could mash it and then put it in mashed if you wanted to, but this is kind of nice too. And when I'm catering and I have people helping me make sandwiches, because I make so many sandwiches sometimes, every bite counts, folks. Don't just put a one piece of avocado and then your first bite's gonna have no avocado. Every bite counts. So here we go. We have that. I'm gonna make this other one too. We're just gonna get some nice pieces of avocado in there. You want to make sure everything's balanced too. So I said that it was like, you know, four, four slices for a serving size. But if that doesn't really fit into your sandwich, then just use three slices. Like you, you decide what you like and what you want. All right. So we've got that. We're going to put a couple tomato slices too. So I have these nice Romas. Slice them thin. Tomatoes have a lot of juice in them. So this is going to make the sandwich a little bit juicier. So if you're taking this sandwich on a picnic or you're not gonna eat it right away, you may wanna add the tomatoes a little bit later. Again, we're gonna season those because we're seasoning everything as it goes. So we season those, put a couple tomatoes right on there. Already this is looking so pretty. You could even do like a bacon BL BLT with avocado if you wanted to right there. We'll put those aside because we will eat those later. All right, let's see what, I'm gonna put a glove on actually because. I don't want my hands to smell like salmon later. No matter how hard you wash things, sometimes that fishy smell just sticks around. Okay, so let's flip it over. See how that skin, see? That skin is just gonna come right off. So don't even worry about cutting the skin off when it's raw because it's nearly impossible, I'm gonna tell you. It's a very hard task to do and it just kinda comes off and it serves as a, like a nice little barrier for the salmon. Okay, so let's just cut right into the middle of the salmon. See how it looks. Ooh, that looks cooked really, really nicely to me. A lot of people like their salmon cooked a little bit more. If you do, pop it right back in there and cook it to however you like it. So now we're gonna cut our salmon. This is not always the easiest job because it wants to flake off. We can flake it a little. I guess, you know, do what your salmon wants. <laughs> so it wants to be flaked a little. So we're gonna put that salmon right there on top. That looks delicious. This one too, just gonna wiggle it around a little. We'll put that big piece right there on top. Okay, it smells really, really good. And now here's our secret ingredient, the sriracha mayo. <laughs> this is gonna be nice. Mayonnaise, avocado, uh, orange is really nice with salmon as well. So let me get that. I'm gonna kinda, I'm gonna coat it nicely too, especially if you like a kick. Definitely give that some, give it some space, give it some, give it a little attitude. Let it be kind of the star of the show with that salmon. Put a couple pieces of lettuce on top of there. And there you go. You have your delicious salmon sub mm, with so many good veggies. I'm gonna pair it right here with the potato salad. And you have yourself like a really, really nice summertime lunch or dinner and again wrap that up put it in some saran wrap and you have yourself a nice uh, picnic dinner if you want it so there you go we have potato salad which you can use with anything it would go good with the steak or anything like that and then we have our salmon sandwiches salmon and avocado really giving you all those healthy omegas and fats and everything else you could ask for so you can have a beautiful dinner I mean, pair it with a nice glass of wine, do it with a glass of ice water, you will enjoy it. Thanks for joining me. I'm Tracy Miller. Good luck eating healthy.
If you haven't seen Good Day of Vale lately, here's what you've been missing. I'm Cece Zach, and I'm the host of Good Day Vale, and you can find us on Comcast Xfinity Channel 92 or on our website at tvavale.com and on YouTube. We're here to serve the Vale Valley, and we look forward to sharing our story with all of you. Did you know that all Eagle County residents and visitors can get a free Eagle Valley Library District card? All you need is a photo ID. You get our online databases and resources, free music, free streaming, all from wherever you have internet access. Free audiobooks and e-audiobooks straight to your phone. Go into your Eagle Valley Library District branch today and get your library card. Map Harvest, your local marketplace for fresh, locally produced products. Our indoor farmer's market is open seven days a week, featuring locally grown organic produce, prepared meals, honey from our nap nectar hive, furniture, cutting boards, and much more. We source and sell locally grown and produced products from the Vale and Roaring Fork Valleys. Visit us at our new location in Eagle Ranch, 717 Sylvan Lake Road, next door to Color Coffee Roasters. Hello everyone, I'd like to welcome you into Rugs Benedict to come explore our 12,000 square foot showroom. We've been serving the Vale Valley for over 50 years now with flooring needs. And we inventory a ton of product from Carpet One to provide the very best values, highest style. We just built a warehouse, 15,000 square foot warehouse in gypsum. So we have over 120 different broadloom carpets. We have a lot of waterproof wood flooring things that we can install right away. We have employee installers, a lifetime installation warranty. Many of them have been with us for decades and they're true craftsmen in their work. They're absolutely extraordinary at installing any of the flooring that we provide. We also have over a thousand area rugs in stock right now. Um, and they start at two by threes. I could bring these into the studio today, but they go all the way up to 12 by 16s. And we have them hanging on the racks just like shopping for clothing. So it's very easy for you to just flip through, see what's available. We'll deliver them to your house so you can check out how they look in your space with your lighting. All different sizes, all different shapes, some things that are gonna be a little bit more contemporary as well as tribal, traditional, all the latest and greatest looks. We have things that are hand knotted, silk, wool and silk options, all the way down to some machine made indoor outdoor type rugs. So really anything that you're looking for, for your business, for your home, for a rental, Rugs Benedict can provide it. And one thing I consistently hear when people leave our showroom is, that was so easy, thank you so much. So we make the, the process very easy. Come in, take a look, and we'd love to offer you a free estimate. Look forward to seeing you in our showroom. Eyepieces of Veil has been a fixture in the Veil community for over 30 years. From designer frames and sunglasses to high-performance sports frames, prescription goggles and in-demand accessories like helmets, goggle lenses, and foldable reading glasses, our inventory raises the optical bar. Visit one of our seven locations today and see why generations of loyal customers return time after time for our unmatched service and inventory.
Eyepieces, the art of vision. Good morning, Vale. Welcome back to Good Morning Vale. This is a live shot of the I-70 corridor. First thing this morning, you can see traffic is moving. That sun is kind of trying to make its way out. It was out first thing this morning when we saw that sun originally rise, but then we've seen some cloud coverage roll in. Now, we are expecting to see mostly sunny skies throughout the course of today, a high of 65 degrees, 30% chance of rainfall, and you can see that that sun was nice and early rising this morning. 5.51 a.m. is when we saw that sunrise. Now we are expecting to see winds come out of the west at 5 to 10 miles an hour. Now as we take a look at Vail by the hour, you can see that we were expecting to see that beautiful sunshine first thing this morning. Cloud coverage rolling in throughout the course of today. Mostly cloudy, isolated thunderstorms later into the afternoon. So if you have a dog at home who's scared of that thunder, just be prepared that that's a possibility later into the afternoon. Now as we take a look at that I-70 corridor, the temperature down in Denver, nice and warm. 76 degrees in Denver, 20% chance of precipitation. 65 in Vail with a 30% chance of moisture. 68 in Avon with a 30% chance of precipitation. 71 in Eagle with a 20% chance of moisture. So both out to the east and to the west of us, those temperatures reaching up into the 70s. Now as we take a look at Vail overnight tonight, temperatures are cooling down. 42 degrees is our overnight low. 20% chance of precipitation continuing overnight tonight. Partly cloudy skies. That sun is setting at 8 14 p.m which is so nice because i love these very long days with that sunshine out now we are expecting to see wind shift directions coming out of the north north or excuse me the north northwest yes at five to ten miles an hour throughout the course of tonight now as we take a look ahead into the next five days we are expecting to see more precipitation come our way partly cloudy skies tomorrow 20 percent chance of rainfall now a high of 67 degrees by Thursday, isolated thunderstorms, 66 degrees is the high with a 30% chance of precipitation. On Friday, 60% chance of moisture decreasing on Saturday to a 30% chance of precipitation and then increasing again by Sunday. Now we're going to see those temperatures range anywhere from the high 70s or excuse me, high 60s to mid 60s to low 60s throughout the course of the next five days. Now those overnight temperatures, none of them dropping below freezing, which is what we like to see to start to break this freeze thaw cycle that we had been in for quite some time. Now since we are going to see quite a bit of precipitation come our way, it is important that you stay nice and safe on that I-70 corridor and you give yourself a little bit of extra travel time, especially because there are certain areas where we do see that standing water collect. We want to thank you so much for tuning into your Tuesday edition of Good Morning Vale. We love getting to be here each and every morning, bring you community information, mental health information, and maybe teach you some new things in the kitchen that you didn't know before with Tracy Miller's Colorful Cooking. Now remember, you can tune into Colorful Cooking every Monday through Friday at noon. That way you can get inspired on what you should make for your friends or for your family. That way you can eat better and a little healthier, which is something that I'm aspiring to do now that Tracy Miller has been helping me learn how to cook more and more. Make sure that you tune in tomorrow. We've got another great show in store for you and there's a lot of wonderful things still taking place in and around our community. Although we're kind of in the slower little season right now, the shoulder season as we like to call it, we are gonna start to see things ramp back up as the Ford Amphitheater is gonna come back to life. We've got GoPro Mountain Games right around the corner. We're not too far away from blues, brews, and barbecues for Memorial Weekend. And there's just a ton of activities that you're not going to want to miss out on. And we love getting to bring you some fun event coverage. So make sure that you stay tuned. Of course, tune in every day. We're here from 7 to 9 a.m. with our new two-hour edition of Good Morning Vale. I've been your in-studio host today, Maddie Evans. And make sure that you tune in tomorrow. I'll be here to chat with you about our wonderful community. Are you looking for